sub people on YouTube, the souvenir. And uh, yeah, yeah, you know, the Black Desert Close Badass on its way. And I thought, why not make a video on how to set up proxies? Since probably a lot of people don't know how it works exactly. And yeah, so all people know, all Western people can play the beta since Koreans being Koreans. They are not too sure the game will appeal to the Western audiences, like for in Europe and America and stuff. So they IP blocked the closed beta, so only Koreans can play the closed beta, which sucks, because everyone knows Western people do love your game. Burlabiz, if you see this, just make it for the Western audiences. We already love the game. But enough about that. Um, let's get to the proxies. Okay, so first thing you'll have to do is uh, go to Google. Let's go to Google real quick. Google.com and just type in Google Korean proxy. You'll get a lot of websites. Uh, yeah, you get a lot of websites. I'm picking Proxy Nova. So it's quite, it's quite a nice website. And it shows this entire list of proxies. Also, before I start setting up this these proxies, um, I'm gonna explain some of the dangers of using proxies. Because how a proxy work uh, works is basically your computer when you go to a website, it sends a request to the website, like, give me the page. And the website sends the page to your computer. But with a proxy, if you want to go to a website, you actually send a request to the proxy, and the proxy sends it to the website. To kind of hide your IP for whatever reason, or like to deliver a fake IP, like under a fake IP. So the danger of that is, of course, um, when you send the request to the proxy, proxy sent to the website, the website first gets sent to the proxy and then to your computer. So the proxy knows everything you're surfing. Like, it knows all the web pages and stuff, which is also why I do not recommend whatever you do, do not pay online using the internet, whatever, while using a proxy. Always, after you're done with your proxies, you turn your proxy off completely. It's, it's just so much safer, since they will know what you typed in and what you send to the website. They can actually retrieve that, so try to not use accounts, especially on web browsers, on MMOs, like League of Legends, if you log in that third-party window. It's, it's a lot less worse, it's a bit safer, it's not 100% safe. But it's a bit safer. And just don't pay online. Don't, don't. Just don't. Seriously, don't. That's that's really dangerous. And also, I would recommend, if you use Firefox, um, to have ad block. Not because uh, you want to be a dick or you just hate ads, but it is a well-known issue that proxies actually give you ads. And if you click on them, they can give you viruses. So I recommend Adblock Plus when using proxies. And to use AVG or whatever antivirus thing you want. Even AVG free, just whatever antivirus software you have. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. But enough about the dangers of this stuff. Let us get to setting up the proxy. So here I see the list. Proxy IPs, proxy ports. This is actually all the necessary data you have to know to set up a proxy. This is like uh, when it was last checked to see if the proxy server is still up. This is the proxy speed, although you shouldn't look at it, because I will be using this proxy, which says it's really low. It says 313 bytes per second. That is incredibly slow. But this one is actually faster than this one of 2 megabytes per second, 2000 bytes. So, yeah, it doesn't really calculate your ping in there, so where you're from. So this one could actually be faster than this one, that's very possible. Here it also shows, uh, here shows, this shows location of the proxy server. And this shows how anonymous it is, so how safe the thing is from other websites retrieving your real IP. But, of course, everything can be found out with, with effort. Everything can be found out. Like, it's a computer. Everything can be found out. Okay, so after you have found a good IP, I'll be using this one, 58.143.131.79 with proxy port 8081. You go to start, you go to control panel. After you're in control panel, you go to network and intranet. And you see this list of different options. You go to internet options. 
And this might seem familiar, this is actually for Internet Explorer, this tab, but the Connections tab, it is just for proxies all over your computer, so not just for um, Internet Explorer. Okay, you go to LAN settings down here under the Connections tab, and you go to this just Really, you can ignore this, but this is the important part. Proxy server it says, use a proxy server for your LAN. These settings will not apply to dial-up or VPN connections. So, if you have a dial-up or use a VPN connections, the proxy will be ignored. At least on Windows 7. So, you check this box. You type the IP in here. The IP is already here, since I used it before. And the port here. You can ignore advanced and bypass proxy for local address. It's, it's not really necessary. Like, you can do it, but you can change some stuff, but it's not necessary. So, you make sure that's right. Then you click OK. Then you click OK again. And, to kind of show you, like, the proxy's up. Uh, we'll go to google.com. Of course, every proxy, like, believe me, every single proxy there is, is slow. It just, it just is. Because one more request has to be sent and received. So it's it's just slower, whatever look like it. See? Now Google thinks we're in Korea. Okay, good, good. So we fooled Google. But I will show you a little downside. As this uh, downside of proxies, as I said before, they can be tracked. They can be traced and they can find out your real IP and I will show you that that is very much possible. Come on. There we go. Okay. Come on, Google. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come there we go, okay. Okay, so we'll go to uh, whatismyipaddress.com, just a website that finds your IP. And here it says, your IP address is 58.143.131.79. And there it shows the location of where the IP or whether a proxy server is possibly is possibly and yeah that seems all pretty good like it's a the proxy it shows the proxy but here it says open proxy server so it actually recognized the proxy and this can be done with every proxy believe me even the most expensive pay like a proxy server you have to pay for like the most expensive server in the entire world, even that one can be tracked. Of course, it takes more effort, but it can be tracked. Which leaves the issue, will Black Desert have this in their game? I do not believe they will. Because I tested this on League of Legends and Guild Wars 2 and Guild Wars 1. Of course, Guild Wars 1 being a bit older, but I just want to test it. And it did actually... Uh, use the proxy because it was a bit slower. Not that much actually. This is a pretty good server. This seems to be a pretty good one, but it was a bit slower. So it doesn't seem to recognize the proxy. Or at least not in my setup. So I don't think Black Desert will go through the effort in their closed beta. So not everything is done yet. I don't think they will go through the effort of putting in proxy detection. I don't think they will, so you will be pretty safe using proxies. Um, although, if one proxy doesn't work, you can always keep trying other proxies, because some are harder to locate than others. And if that doesn't work, and you really want to play the game, then either you can go to South Korea yourself, or you can use paid proxies. There are also proxies you gotta pay for a particular amount a month. And yeah, they're most of the time they're uh, they're better. They're just flat out better than free proxies because most of the time they're faster, they are better set up, and they are harder to find. So if you really want it and you can't find any free proxies that work, then you can use a paid one. So yeah, that was actually um, well proxies. Oh wait, let me turn the proxy off. There we go. Internet options again. Go to connections. LAN settings, and you just uncheck the box, click OK, click OK, and let's go to Google, see, everything is in Korean, I don't know what the hell is going on, so, there we go, Netherlands. So yes, Google again recognizes I'm in the Netherlands. Also, this proof that Google doesn't actually ignore the proxy seems like a pretty solid point, while Black Desert wouldn't. 
Because why would you? If like a Western person would go through the effort of setting up a proxy, why would you block that? Like they really they really don't care, I think. They they wouldn't mind. Or at least that's what I think. It could still be in there, so be warned, be warned, but Yeah, if it is not, then you'll have a solid proxy set up. I'll just show you on what is my IP address. There we go. It shows my IP address again. And here it shows the location. And it's actually wrong, funnily enough. Location not accurate. See, it, it can't be inaccurate. So. Well, that was, um, that was pretty much the entire way to set up a proxy on your computer. Um, yeah, hope you guys um, enjoyed the vid and know a little bit more about proxies. And, well, good luck on setting up a proxy, and I'll see you in Black Desert. This is the Subanama. Oh, wait, wait, no, wait, wait. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Um, it could also be that this is also an issue, and if this is going to be in the game, it's going to be a big issue. It could also be that the game actually completely ignores proxies. Like, I also make software myself, and I know that option is in there. You can implement it into software to completely ignore proxies. So yes, that could be an issue, and then it's impossible for Western audiences to get in the game. But again, that takes quite a lot of effort to put in there in such a big game. So I don't think they will put it in there. So I think we're pretty safe. But yeah, hope you enjoy this. Um, and now I'm really out. See you guys later. Good luck.